One day, while exploring the Meyer region of Fallout 76, we come upon a small farm. This location is known as the Dabney Homestead. This location is a public workshop, so take caution when claiming it on a public server, as you will be open to the PvP mechanics within the workshop area. Dabney Homestead consists of two main buildings, the ruined house and barn. There is also a grain silo. Inside the barn, there is an armor workbench. When you first come to this workshop, the side quest Claim Workshop will start. Once you clear out the enemy creatures in the area, you will be able to claim the workshop. Claiming the workshop will give you standard event rewards. Aside from the various scrap loot that can be found here, you will have a chance to find a random armor plan and you may find a random weapon mod. If the armor plan spawns, you will find it in the barn on the first floor on a small metal table near the stairs. If the weapon mod spawns, you will find it in the barn on the second floor right next to the safe. For the most part, the enemies that can spawn here will be creatures that are native to the Meyer region. These can include fog crawlers, anglers, rad toads, gulpers, Scorched, Mire Alerts, various bugs, and you may even see Liberator Bots. Just like all workshops, once you claim it, after a short amount of time passes, you will get a Defend Workshop quest. This will have you defend the workshop against a certain number of waves of enemies. Once defended, this quest will only come up periodically while on the same server. If you leave the workshop and this event starts, but you don't make it to the event, it will change from Defend Workshop to Retake Workshop as you have lost control of the workshop. Dabney Homestead is located southwest of the Galleria Mall. There is a short dirt road that leads you to the workshop from Highway 65. While Dabney Homestead does not have a real-world counterpart, it does have a small story. As we inspect the house, we notice a note is pinned to the door frame. This note is titled, Dear Tucker. Reading the note. Dear Tucker, in case you come looking for us, we've gone to Harper's Ferry. We thought we could make a go of it here since the land was still producing and you know how much your mother is into canning, but it's just not safe anymore. We had a fog of some sort roll in from the north that's when the vines started showing up, and the critters around here started to really change. It wasn't until those vines pushed through the house that we knew we had to leave. We hope you're safe, son. And if you find this message, come to Harper's Ferry. Times like these, we need safety in numbers. Dad. Just reading this note, you can really feel that Tucker's father misses him and wants him to come home. He leaves this note hoping that he will find it and in turn, find his family again. To this day, we have never found out what happened to Tucker, though it is very likely that he died or succumbed to the Scorched Plague. It may be possible that he just left Appalachia altogether. We just don't know. We do know what happened at Harper's Ferry, but that is a story for another day. The note is clearly referring to the incident at Vault 94 where the Gek was activated by a group from Harper's Ferry and in so doing created the beautiful and dangerous Meyer region. Besides this little story, the workshop does have some good value as there are a lot of resources here. There is food, there's water, copper, fertilizer, concrete, wood, and even a junk resource. This is one workshop that is worth claiming whenever you need to collect these resources. Have you claimed this workshop as your own? Did you even know this workshop existed? Were you aware of the note on the house? Sound off in the comments below. While you're at it, like, subscribe, and share. And as always, I'm just glad you stopped by, and I'll see you in the next one.